I got to say over a decade, every kid that's come through this program have, you know, given me their all. And like I told you a couple of years ago with a, a great player, Zarius Lewis, man, we just put on our hard head and go to work. And, and we with no name kids, we ain't got no stars behind our name. We don't play AU. We just come out here and play hard nose, traditional hard basketball. And, and to be a small two way going to one A school, you know, we, we play the five A's, we play the powerhouses. And, and I'm not saying we always win, but. I've yet to have a team in 10 years to back down. They be like, Coach, when we playing the Lakers? I'm like, man, they got LeBron. What y'all doing? <laughs> been a while since I've been to camp for a game. Got a call, so we made a trip. The Red River and Lakeview rivalry, still one of them ones. I saw a few familiar faces. They said the youngsters different now, Sean. They ain't in the gyms or riding horses. They carrying hey, switches. Sonny's gone, man. What? Yo, somebody took him, man. Somebody. Jeez, somebody took him. Nah, this is real, B. They came around, they dropped off a note, man, asking for money, man. Who? We're gonna get them back, man. Ain't no backing down. Save the sons, you save the fathers. Save the fathers, you save the families. Coach Slidell still in the trenches doing work. Lakeview and Red River traded buckets early. It took a little time for them to get that mess of greens cooking, but when they did, they did. Warren, Colin, Mello, they gave the Bulldogs life. Andre Sile, they call him Tootie. He would stop the run. Play about 15, 20 minutes apart in two separate parishes, but everybody you see out there going crazy against each other, don't get it twisted. They cousins. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, two days a year when we play each other at their place or they play at our place, man, it's a very hostile environment. It's a lot of bragging rights for 365 days. Last year, the Cedric Webb was at Huntington. And the Cedric Webb, a great player, man. He said, y'all better Google me. And one of my players said, man, we ain't got no computers in the country. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> we just playing hard. And, and we ended up losing to that Huntington team. I think we lost to them by like four points. But that just goes to show that these kids, they just, you know, they just strap up and be ready to play, man. They, it's, it's a great culture at this school for us basketball. Red River, they led by one at the half. Lakeview, they came out on a different type of time in that second half. Alonzo Driver, Jamarcus Relevant, and that culture, it make it tough on any team. Lil Colin, he tried to shoot him back in it. He finished with 19 points, but it wasn't enough. The Gators, they hang on and they pick up the win. As for the Sunnies out there, we gonna get them back, man. Save the sons, you save the fathers. Save the fathers, you save the family. But the main thing is just, you know, <clears throat> the main thing is just, just be a man. Because like I said, that ball gonna stop bouncing. And what I teach to these kids right now is a lot of soft skills and soft skills are hard to find. Get up, be on time, come to work every day, work hard, get more playing time. You work hard in your job, you get more money. You know what I'm saying? Be a team player. Realize that you can't do everything. Allow other people to do things. And some people are natural leaders. If you're going to be a leader, being a leader is hard. Because being a leader is telling people what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. So and, and a, you get some kids like that. I had a kid, CJ Small, not too long ago. I said, man, you're a, you a natural leader, my man. Like I almost had tears thinking about him because he called me to this day and say, coach, man, just you did a lot for me, a lot that, you know, I wasn't listening to my dad. So I was listening to you because you was an outside voice telling me the right thing. So the main thing is, you know, I, I coach a lot of young black men, you know what I'm saying? 90% of who I coach are young black men, and I just feel like we need to show them how to be head of households, how to be fathers, you know what I mean? When they see me, they see me with my family. They see me doing things, and, and they look, and they watch, man. I'm a, uh, I'm a part of the, the best fraternity in the world, Cap Alpha Psi, <laughs> and I look up, and like, I got about four or five of my ex players that be like, yo, Noob, and I be like, man, what you watching that hard? But it's just, being an example, and the one thing I tell them is regardless of what goes on, man, whatever I give you, I don't expect anything in return. I just want you to give back, not to your little brother, not to the people you're supposed to give back, but look back at that young kid that's going through that same struggle you was going through and put them words in his ear. Give him a couple of dollars for some basketball shoes or, you know, give him, just, just help out, give back. 
And if we keep doing that as a community, then you know our community will grow. So it's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright, man. Gonna get them back, man. No doubt. This episode is sponsored by Brighter Future Counseling Services. Next up is Captain Shreve and Southwood.